a new film due out later this month called Infinitely Polar Bear looks at how a mixed race family deals with bipolar disorder. Mark Ruffalo, or Ruffalo, I should say, and Zoe Zaldana, they are the actors, and now the film's director, Maya Forbes, is here. Maya, good to talk to you. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. What a fascinating topic. Tell me about the movie. Well, the movie is ab about a family, and it's mm -hmm. about my family. It was about an episode of my childhood where um, my family was really struggling financially, uh, and my father was manic depressive. That's what we called it back in mm -hmm. those days. Mm -hmm. um, and my mother ended up going to get her MBA in, um, at Columbia Business School and left uh, my sister and me in the care of my father who was manic depressive and we had this very rocky beginning and um, it was a very challenging time uh, and I started to write the script because I was sort of reflect I have two little girls of my own and when I saw my two little girls I sort of thought of the things I'd gone through at their age and was reflecting on the, the lessons I learned the gifts that had come out of this very difficult time uh, episode of my childhood. We became sort of this unconventional family, but it, in the end it worked. <laughs> and it worked out in the end. But, but going through that, and I think the thing is when you're um, writing a screenplay, directing a film, there's such a passion when it's your own story. Yes. How did that play out with the actors and the cast and putting this together? Well, it was, it was critical because I, I just to, I, I knew that I wanted this movie to be very warm and I, even though it deals with all these difficult issues that I wanted to be funny. I'm, I'm, I usually write comedy. Uh -huh. So this I would say is a bittersweet comedy. Um, uh, so the, the, but the fact that it was my baby allowed mm -hmm. me to, it's so hard to make your first film, mm -hmm. get to direct your first film. Mm -hmm. I needed to have that, that, um, drive to do it. Mm -hmm. Um, and I ended up casting my daughter as mm. the sort of the role that is essentially me. Okay. 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 <laughs> so it became a real family for me. And my husband produced it. It, it. You know, I have three kids. To direct a movie, you need a, you, you, everyone has to pitch in. <laughs> exactly. It becomes exactly. Yeah. You know, and not just get coffee, but hey, stand here and do this. Yeah, yes, exactly. Need you in this one shot right here. So <laughs> your family and uh, and your other older your parents, if, if they're still with us, your siblings. Have they seen it, and what's their reaction to, to seeing this movie? Well, my father died in 1998, so he okay. hasn't seen it, but okay. I feel like I brought him back okay. in this movie. Um, my mother has seen it, my mm -hmm. sister, um, all of my father's siblings. They've really embraced it. They saw it at Sundance Film Festival. Okay. Um, and they, I mean, that was, that was nerve-wracking, obviously. Uh, it always is when you're making something that's semi-autobiographical. Um, but they... They, they really responded to it positively. I've got only 10 seconds, unfortunately. What, what's the message you think that comes out of this for people going to the movie, and what do you want them to take away from it? Well, I wanted them to feel like you're not alone, like mm -hmm. we're, not, not, we're not alone, we're all in this together. Mm -hmm. I mean, we all have sort of our families have unconventional stories, and we mm -hmm. all go through difficult times, and so I hope people reflect on their own childhood and, and think about what they learned and mm -hmm. some, what they got out of some of the more difficult Episodes. Isn't it amazing when you get older, and I'm older than you, but you realize just how dysfunctional all of our <laughs> families were? You, yes. You look back and go, how did I survive that? So. Well, that's what I've learned yeah. in this, with this movie, because people come up to me and they tell me their story. So yeah. it's about sharing your story. Infinitely Polar Bear. And uh, Maya, congratulations. Thank you that. so much. Maya Forbes, thanks, thanks for, for having me. And uh, safe travels back okay. home to Santa Monica. Appreciate that. <laughs>